G'day, g'day. Welcome to another episode of Graves and Australia Diecast Salvage. Today we're playing with some Studebaker Golden Hawks. I'm so happy you can join me here over the workbench. So let's have a look at our three Studebakers, Golden Hawks. These two over here are from Corgi. This one over here is from Dinky Toys. So let's have a bit of a look at it. I've already ground down the the post heads. This one has two posts. It has white tires. We'll see if, if we can save them. It's been overpainted. I dare say with a hairy stick. Since being reasonable condition, the window unit is in good order, so that will only probably only need a polish and sprucing up. Again, the corgi toys held in by free posts. Again, I've taken the mushroom heads off. This one has all four of its boots. The paint is coming off. Well, it's well played with, it's well loved. Again, the screen is in good order. Sorry about that. The lunch for today is, is ready. Just before I start eating, we'll finish off this segment. Screen's in good order. I do have something planned with that. Again, another Corgi Toys. No rubber boots on this one. It has been repaint it used to be blue like at this one by the looks of things the screen does have some scuffs on it but no major scratches so I'll bring you back after I've had some lunch and we'll pull these things apart Right, so where was I before I had that uh, very nice lunch? Ah, that's right, we're about to disassemble. So, here is our dinky toys. As mentioned just a moment ago, I've taken the top of the posts off, the Dremel, with a bird tool. So we'll need to... file the if I'm taking these axles off I'll need to file the end of the axle I'll think about that but those tires will need a wash no interior on the dinky and I'll just see if she's bird over she is and the screen is bird over so I'll use my Burr tool to ping it and if you have a look in the centre you may see it just where I've got the pick there's a crack going from one end to the other there you see it there so I'll use the Dremel tool to pop that one out here is the corgi again I've taken the mushroom head off and I've taken enough off she it should just 
pop off like it does. Again, hello. Now there's a surprise. We have a tyre. Hmm. And it does fit. Look at that. No interior, but again, a post up the top. So again, we'll need to grind that off. And the front wheel sits in the axle on the main casting. So again, the same. Just take that off. And the reason I just did take the heads off is so that when I put it back together again, it should be able to just hurt that click. And the item will stay together. The base will be painted, so you'll not see this part anymore. Anyway, I'll get off camera and get those mushrooms done to get those screens out. See you shortly. All righty, righty, righty. Here we are again. We have our screens out. Again, this is the dinky. And the only crack in it is the one by the from the manufacturer. Maybe we should go back and ask them for a replacement screen, since they're the ones that caused it. But I doubt that's going to happen. Anyway, we'll make do with this one. So it's going into our little wash machine this is the corgi version screen again not too bad condition no cracks a bit of flashing there might have to take that down a bit but no cracks that's good and the same thing with this one Are my eyes deceiving me, which is quite good, could be. But has that one got a slight tinge of colour to it? To me, it's got a bit of a, t a green tinge to it. Leave, leave, your, co leave your comments in the um, down below. Or is it because we've got some some green muck on the back there? I don't know. To me, it looks like it's got a green green tinge to it. Oh, what do I know? I wear glasses. Anyway, we'll see what happens a little bit later. But they're going into there. The axles for the corgi. I shall do something there in a moment, but we'll get back over to our dinky. Sorry for the yabba yabba. We can't use these tyres because they're about to disintegrate, like that one. So it's in that one. So new birdies time. But then again, I'll see before I throw them out. Before I throw them out, I may just glue the broken ones together and cast another set of moulds to make some more tyres. So I won't chuck them out just yet, so we'll put them in there. Um, I can polish up these hubs in situ on this dinky, to which I will do. I can cover the hubs up to paint the base. So that's what we'll do with that one. Now the front hubs here, 
I don't need to take apart. The tyre that was inside, I'll put that in there for safekeeping. Yeah, where's my special tool? So we should be able to remove that using our special tool here. It does have a, a piece there to get under the axle. It's a little pulley puller. Just make sure it's centered. Just have to look off camera so that I can remember I just said I'm wearing glasses so I don't want to bend anything. So bear with me ladies and gents, bear with me. There we go. Just undo it a little bit. Like I said, I don't want to bend it. Get it nicely in the centre. And our hub is off. These are a press fit. Let's see if we'll focus. You see the little burr on the on the end? That is what will capture the hub again. So we can undo that one. There we go. So it's like our The single one, we'll put that one in there for the moment. We'll see if these tyres will come off without breaking. There's one. That one is hard, so I might leave that one in situ. Put that in there, because we can take the, this hub off on this side. Again, just line up the hole behind it. Bring the pin towards the center. Come on, center up. Yeah, I know we're not quite there yet. There we go. Just checking. Just checking. A couple of twists. And out she comes. Sorry for hitting your feet. So... Having that hub puller, or that puller, makes things life a lot easier. Again, like I said, there's the burr on the end to capture the hub. So put that in there so we can paint our base. And we're ready for the next step. So I can put that away. And we'll catch you in a moment. So we've painted our base, so you're not seeing the where I took the where I took the mushrooms off. What you're seeing there is the actual posts. 
and we've polished up the hubs now this particular one's not going in the caustic soda and you shall see it later why we're doing a wheel swap on that one which is the other corgi you'll have to wait to see what tires I'm putting on that one and we're about to make tires for the dinky so let me let me get prepared and we shall be back so I've gone through my stash of previously made molds and this one here will fit the bill as you can see so I will keep, I will keep that mouthful of apple and it's not the phone but then again it might be the phone who knows um, so I'll keep them in my tire stash it won't go it won't go to waste so I'm gonna go come back to my sicker flex polyurethane um, that I've been making my tires with oh, looks we are coming to the end of this tube I think but we'll We'll see what we can make. So all we're doing is putting a big blob into there. Big a blob into that one. Missed the hole on that one. And we'll add some on this other side. Definitely last a lot of tyres for for this tube. Come on. Good on you little doggy. Hello Friday. There's a little joke with the DMC community there. We have a mascot and her name's Friday. So that can now go on to our piece here. Squeeze. We have bits coming out, which is good. And we have it coming out the bottom there. So We'll sit this out in the in the sun for a little while and let that cure. Takes about yeah, so yeah, today it might be ready in about an hour, but I shall leave it a little bit longer because we've got other things to do. See you in a moment. So we're back to our tyres. This is for the dinky. And this is the piece that I made earlier or put together earlier. We are now a, a day later from when we put this together 
has cured, which is nice. And these are just the middle inserts will just clear out ready for next time when we need to use it and all four of those are, are clear now this is our of course it has cured we should be able to As you can see, it's quite flexible. That's the other nipple. I like playing with nipples. But and all we're doing is just taking it off the Just need to do a bit of a clean up in there. And there we have a tire. Just needs a little bit more clean up. And that will go. nicely onto our hub again as you can see all the inserts are out if I was smart I would use but I'm not smart you say I could just go try and keep this in shot. That's with a pair of shears. Let's clean up the edge a little bit. That's tire number two. Just looking at the same as to which side is the outside. What do I do with the other lot? Because even I didn't quite get the mold to go in the middle. So one side is a face side, which is that side. Hmm. Might have to use this side for it. Anyway, I'll finish this off and we shall see you at the review. A cleaning we will do. A cleaning we will do. Ooh, 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 a cleaning we will do. So, it's window cleaning time. All I've got here is some warm soapy water and an old toothbrush. My toothbrush. It's not the wife's. It is my toothbrush. dry this off and see how we're going with it because we may need to put some into detail excuse me for pausing
That's not going to be seen. That part's not going to be seen. So you should be right. This little mark up here we're not going to see. Same thing with that part there, that's going to be behind the pillar. And the same with, with that part there. It may come off by with a fingernail. I don't know if you're hearing the music in the background, I hope not. That's the neighbours having a party. In any case, that's that one. This is the dinky. No, it's the corgi. Rub -a -dub -dub. No, I'm not going on on the voice. I might go on the mask singer. Nobody will recognise me. Rub -a -dub -dub. Don't forget the inside. Gotta be nice and clean for our strippers, don't we? So again, we'll just do a quick dry off. Again, a lot of this. Not bad glass, that one. That one's okay. That one's nice. So they'll get dunked in the floor polish. Both the corgi screens have a bit of flashing on this corner here. So we will get rid of those. And this is the dinky one. This is the one I have to look more closely at to see. Whether we've got paint on the screen or not. We may have to put it in some disinfectant to remove some of the paint. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Again, let's just give it a a quick pat down. I know it's not the most interesting part, but this is what we do at times when you're doing a restoration or custom work. It's the cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I'm happy with that. Again, it has a little bit of paint just here. But I don't think you're going to see that once the car is painted. There's nothing on the main screen. There is nothing on this side and there's nothing on the on the rear window there's only that little mark across the across the side there i'm not going to i'm not too fussed about that well now that we're clean let's get dirty with some strippers well before our strippers arrive we're going to make sure that we are really clean and polished now let's get that bubble out
Do you one more? Just need to get rid of that bubble. That's better. Otherwise we have marks. So there's that. Let's cover it up and get that site. Okay, we're at our favourite world famous venue, which is called Gross in Australia, Die Savage Strippers. Our strippers are ready. Our two participants are ready. And our strippers like to go for a little swim with our participants. So they like to have some hot water just a little bit at a time. This way, just a little bit more control. On the odd occasion, it does overflow. Just on the odd occasion. Just got to be mindful. Let that, let that settle. See, just letting it settle. It just came up again because there was an air pocket somewhere and the water finally got down to it. And there's a lot of mucky muck in there. So we shall, must be enjoying themselves, or all of that. Somebody came. Jack in there, Joyce. Anyway, we shall let them have some privacy. Because it closed the curtains on us. Well, we shall see you shortly with a couple of naked vehicles. And we need to clean them up too. So we've dusted ourselves off from the strippers. We've cleaned ourselves off. Now we need to give ourselves a bit of a polish. So this one is the Corgi. Because it has the three posts. And I'm just using a scourer. Just taking out a step. We probably will need the brass bristle brush to get into some of the tighter spots. But as you can see there, she's gone from that to shiny, shiny. So I'll continue this off camera and we'll be back shortly. So I'm using my trusty battery powered airbrush. And we're going to put on our primer coat. You're going to have to wait and see to the end as to what colour I'm going to paint these because the painting's the same. So it's just a matter of it's just the white primer.
Just got to do a slight adjustment. There we go. Now we're cooking. Got to cook with gas. that one flash off. Like I said, this is primer. The main paint will go on exactly the same way as what we're doing now. Again, just to this is a fine primer. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, time to clean up the airbrush, let the primer go off, and we shall see you in a moment. Well, this is a golden hawk, so let's see about painting it gold. Here we go.
So, there we go. We have a golden hawk. So, we shall see you at the reveal where you'll see the other ones. This is just a reminder as to what I started with at the beginning of this episode of Corgi Toys and Dinky Toy Studebaker Golden Hawks. And here we are now. Here we are with our Studebaker Golden Hawks. Two dinkies, oh, sorry, correction, correction, correction. Two corgis, one dinky. So we'll talk about the dinky one first. Here we are, golden. We stripped it, we repainted it, we cleaned and polished the glass and we gave it some new boots. We painted in the headlights and taillights. I think she came out well. well. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. The white one with the golden flares. The reverse colour of the dinky is a corgi. We stripped it. We've repainted it white with gold flares. We've given it a wheel swap from a Matchbox Speed King's car that's now defunct. We cleaned the polish the glass. We gold the rear rear section on the boot. And of course we painted the tail lights and the headlights. The blue one is a corgi as well. We didn't strip the paint on that one. All we've done is we left the blue paint as it was. We used a hairy stick and painted on some rust effect paint. We wiped that back a bit. And then we used some powders to enhance the weathering. We polished up the hubs a little bit and we cleaned and polished the glass. I hope you enjoyed this video as I was happy to make it for you. Again, like the video, share the video if you want the channel to expand. By all means, leave a comment down below. I do like reading them. I do reply to them. And we'll catch you next time. Graves in Australia, Diecast Salvage.